Hello, I'm Rado Khattab. I'm going to show you how you can download any dataset directly into your Google Drive and then you can easily mount it into your Google Colab session and use this dataset in anything you need. Uh, first, you have to make sure of one thing. In your Google Drive, you have to make sure that you have enough space for the dataset you are downloading. For default Gmails, uh, you have space on your Google Drive for 15 gigabytes. So if uh, your drive has some files or uh, the dataset is more than 15 gigabytes, it may not download or it fills in, in between. If you are using a college email, sometimes it has more quota than this. Uh, for me, I have like 30 gigabytes, so just make sure that you have enough space on your Google Drive for the dataset. Okay, uh, now you can start with opening any Google Colab session. Uh, here is one that which I opened. And the first thing you need to do is to mount your Google Drive into your Colab session, uh, which you can do like this for the drive, then drive.mount. Uh, slash content slash drive and when you run it you get this open this link I'm using this email hello and then you copy this code and come and write it here and wait for it to finish okay uh, if you refresh this here you would find that here is your drive. In my drive, I find all my files here. There is also another way to check it. Uh, in case you don't know, you can run any terminal command uh, like an Ubuntu in Google Colab session just by starting it with this exclamation mark. So I'm going to use list command to list the files in my drive like this. And I would find all my files here. Now, to download the dataset, I will use wget command, um, and I want to download it into my drive, so I will use this as my path. You can use any path, but just to store it with drive slash my drive. And for the link, you have to make sure that it is the link that downloads the dataset right away. Here is, uh, I'm going to use an, a small example with a dataset of 50 megabytes only. Uh, if I clicked on this link, it would it, uh, start the download immediately. So this is the right link to use. I will copy this link address and get back to my school app session. And here's the link. And it is downloaded. Uh, now, if I run this again, you would find here is my file. And in case you don't know how to unzip the dataset which you just downloaded, you can use unzip command. Uh, here I'm going to give it the pass for my file, which is, I can copy it from here. You need it to write the extension, by the way. If it is, uh, if it is .zip, uh, the command would be different uh, if you're using .tar file, for example. So you can easily search it. And here I'm going to give it a destination for my drive as well, because if I didn't write this, it would be um, unzipped in my Google Colab session only. And then if I opened another Google Colab session, I would have to unzip the file to mount it and unzip it again. Here, if I run this, um, it finished and it unzipped the file in my drive here. If I came back and run this again, you would find here is the .csv file. Uh, just one last note, to access uh, the file after so, you just need to write this before any, uh, any file or folder you have just uh, downloaded. 